Short wave. Take it down, quick. What's it say? <laughs> ah, shut up. What's that mean? <laughs> you too? Okay, here's a view of my ready room from the ground. Here's the terrace slash veranda slash stoop down here. And uh, as you can see, it's a really nice place up there. Uh, like that, that dish is going to go. It's not being used. Uh, so that's going to be out of the way. But uh, I'm just trying to decide where exactly I want to put my, uh, my uh, station. Where I want to set up the radio. And we'll have to wait and see. I think there's power on both sides. You know, on the back wall and on this front wall. I think there's, uh, I think the receptacle works. We'll have to test it out. But uh, for now, I've got uh, just about from this pillar right here. There. No, nope, there. Yeah, from that pillar right there over is uh, uh, mopped, uh, the initial mopping. It's going to need at least one more. And then I've got all those crates and boxes and stuff over there on that far wall. And uh, we'll see what we got. Back in a bit. Later. Okay, so while we're finishing up a little repair on the antenna mast base, I went ahead and finished up some work here. I got a loan, I think it's a loan, of some, um, um, yeah, 213. RG213 uh, cable. Uh, this is six turns on about four inches for a RF choke attached to the bottom plate. We're nutted down. We're, I have uh, I've double nutted it, it's, so the bolt is studded up, and then all I gotta do is just all we need is a one wrench to loosen these things up. Uh, some rope for strain relief. I believe this is actually Dacron line that uh, Lucas had on. And again, thanks so much to Lucas. Uh, even though we have a um, lockdown in effect right now, uh, so he could not come to uh, watch the mast raising, which has been <laughs> delayed due to a little mishap and miscalculations. But anyway, uh, so I've got the uh, just went blank. Yeah, coax cable. RF choke, we're tied in, we're on the uh, connector plate, and then here we have the ladder line, connect to the T, and again another uh, piece of rope here for uh, strain relief, and another piece of rope to uh, hang this on the uh, line to hoist it up, and each leg, and let's see if I remember right, we were measured out, I think these are measured out correct now, so um, once we get things up and get the uh, legs pulled out, uh, I can put on the um, antenna analyzer, which uh, Lucas also loaned to me. And again, that's Lucas uh, ZS6LH, Zulu Sierra 6, Lima Hotel. Uh, super guy, and so happy to uh, have him as a nearby neighbor. So uh, we were able to uh, run down to his place and pick up the cable and the analyzer without getting pinched by the police, because here it is a total lockdown. They, there's almost no traffic now out on the highway. Anyway, we'll be back hopefully soon to uh, get this beast up in the air and get it guide off and then we'll hoist the antenna up and uh, my next job is to go upstairs and uh, set up a point to run this overhead. So that'll be another job. I think I'm going to go take care of that now. Okay, this is going to be a little shaky and I apologize. Trying to get you a close-up view here. But uh, there's the feed point connector. One wire goes down that way. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe you could see the uh, end insulator. And the other one, where is it? There's this feed point. The other one goes over that way. It's behind a tree. And let's see if I can get you free. There's the other end insulator. Everything seems to be holding. I got the wires pulled fairly taut. And uh, the next trick, oh snap, I forgot to put the support rope on the uh, coax. Alrighty, well I'll just have to drop this down a little bit and take care of that. Uh, next I've got to find the rope. Okay, back in a minute. Well, the antenna is up. I have the feed line. 
all the way up. Uh, this is the best way I can figure to uh, anchor it. So I just went ahead and did that. This is just a uh, pipe fitting. And I tried not to go with too hard of a bend. I hope that is not going to affect things too much. But um, there's the ladder line, all 39 feet of it. There's one leg going down that way, one leg going that way. We got four guy wires. I can't really see much. But uh, anyway, we're ready to do, uh, put this thing on the uh, SWR meter and see what we got. So I'll be back in just a second. Oh, it's the day after. And I just can't stop looking. She's working out good. I did some initial um, SWR readings. And then I had to do a lot of adjusting. And as it turns out, the antenna was long. So we uh, got that all adjusted, so now I'm going to just run you through the, uh, the checks with the analyzer. But uh, one thing that we did think we might have had a problem with was the angle of the legs coming off. Let's get you back up there. That angle there, you'll notice I'm quite a bit down probably six feet or so down from the top, we lowered the apex so that we could get a wider angle up there. Sorry for all the wobbling. And uh, that helped out a little. But mostly, we were just long. So after several tests and adjustments and shortening, we finally got it in resonant and resonance in um, you hold in a second, I'm going to set the camera and turn on the uh, in, uh, uh, analyzer and uh, run you through the bands. Back in a bit. Alright, we're set up for 40 meters here. And uh, that's at the top of the band. And it's showing me 1.5 right now, but that's actually... Let's see if I can get that all in there. But, uh, there's the final readings. There we are. So, we're at the top of the band. 300. So there's 7.3 megahertz. And we're at 1.4. Let's take it down to all 250. Oop. 255, 253, and we're at we're at 1.3 to 1 match SWR. Okay, that's 250. Let's go down to 200. There's 202, 1.3. So we're pretty much centered in the band, and I and we got the full band. 1.7 at uh, 7.3 and uh, let's go down to 150 actually we'll go all right down to the bottom 125 and as you can see 1.6 which is a little higher than it was like, oh, okay that's where we are 1.6 so again centered in the band on 40 so I got all of 40 let's go up to let's go up to 20 meters and uh, just so you can see there's there's the final readings and as you can see we're pretty much centered in 20 meters too sorry for all the wobbliness I've already made about five contacts with uh, my friend Lucas, who's just down the road from me, who loaned me his radio. Uh, we're working 40 meters right now on uh, 7.070, which is in the voice uh, part of the band here in South Africa. I know it's uh, data and ready uh, in the States, 
but uh, we're working it. They're sounding great, even with static crashes all over the place. But let's tune in and make a contact. ZS1 Charlie Hotel, this is Kilo 1 November, Kilo X-Ray, over. Kilo X-ray, Kilo One November, Kilo X-ray, and I've got you an easy five nine here with a little static, but you're sounding quite good. Over. Kilo One November, Kilo X-ray, Kilo One November, Kilo X-ray, over. You have it correct, sir. You have it correct. QSL. Over. ZS1 Charlie Hotel, Kilo 1 November, Kilo X-ray, 73's to you. It looks like uh, we got some static crashes that's trying to shut us down here. So I'm going to let you close out with uh, Lucas, and I'm going to just sit back on the side. Over. Uh, ZS1 Charlie Hotel, Kilo 1 November, Kilo X-ray, 73's. static uh, a lot of static crashes but uh, hey six contacts so far we'll probably make a few more before we have to shut down and disconnect the cables but uh, there we go QSOs on the brand new ZS6 BKW antenna it's working like a charm we're all over South Africa which is quite a bit of distance to cover um, hope you enjoy we're going to get this uh, video processed and up to, to YouTube just as soon as possible this is 
Kilo 1, November Kilo X-Ray, Kilo Zen.